Good afternoon, everybody. So welcome back to my channel. And so today, um, I just want to vlog about something that is under my professional and something that I just would like to share with all my ladies uh, viewers who's watching this right now. And um, it's going to be something about cosmetic. I should start with concealer. So the first thing I put like before concealer, of course, I'm going to put on primer and after that the concealer part. So I've been um, trying not to use brushes for my concealer because I think um, uh, it's easier, it's faster to use my fingers. But I realized the benefit of like using the brushes is um, it blends on your skin better. I have recently purchased a new one because like the old one was like totally worn out. I'll just throw it away. So. Um, this is the old one that I have been using, which is called uh, Laura Masia, and it's like I have purchased this like long, long time, many years ago, and they sort of look like this one. I don't know if you guys can see it very clear. It's kind of pointy, and the brushes uh, hair is quite hard. I use it for something else, so that's why I got like lipstick on it. Okay, foundation, you like sort of like um, must be using something liquidy. I don't know is that even a word. I will suggest to use something flat again, like this one. This is um, from Benefit, which I think is really good. I have been using this for one year already they have been using this kind of brush it's fat one it looks like this it's round it's flat on the top and i got these from canada and they are quite good until that i have been using them for um a year or so now and look at what happened to this one it's like you see the top one uh, the hair is coming out you can just basically pull pull out the hair from the brush which is really annoying because like when i apply the makeup on my face the hair just like stuck on my skin which is no good so i want to get the same one same purpose for um applying um foundation on my face so it sits on my skin better this is a 154 straight and wavy that's the name of the brush you will probably do uh, to put on your face uh, would be your brush your blush not brush blush um, so this one again from Makeup Forever it's called wavy 152 152 um it's just like a really round round one it looks quite similar to this one but you can you can tell like the top of this brush is more round so when you do the brushes on your apples like on your cheeks it do like more round and you know it blends better um so it's like the powder will be more loose uh, to apply on your skin so you don't get like a whole bunch of them on your face so this one is really good for uh, your blush so the, probably the next following thing you might or might not be uh, doing for some of you guys would be um, doing the highlights on your face which are these areas, these areas, these areas but uh, this is more for the jaw lines for your forehead, your hairline, stuff like that so you need like more uh, angle kind of brush for doing your highlights so I just got this from some cheap cosmetic um, store I use this sometimes for my blush as well so it goes like it depends like how I want to apply my 
my blush sometimes i do the round ones sometimes i do like more over my um i don't know what this area called so i do sometimes like this for my blush and but this supposedly to be for your um highlights for your face so this one is really good i don't know where i got this from i forgot totally sorry as going about uh for the highlights um you might for some people will be doing more details of your highlights on your face as i have been started to do that as well because like i realized after you apply some um highlights on your face it brought out your features more uh obvious and looks prettier on your face which because i don't have like a really good features on my face and so i need to put some highlights more on my eyes my nose and my lip sometimes so i got this one this is from um makeup forever again and it's the number is 234 this is for um, more details highlighting which are like for your nose for your eyes right here on your crease and like on top of your lip underneath your lip so this will do the job pretty much i probably do my eyebrows which they are not really good i am very bad at like doing my eyebrows as you can see they're not really good but i try my best but um i use um uh eyebrow uh, powder so this will be the thing that i'll use to um do my eye to do my eyebrow so brow outline quite well it's quite sharp if you do use this one this is from shimura um it's six ob brush number so i've been using this for many many years and they never ever worn out so this is really good one that i recommend highly for the eye i have like three more brushes which are the like end of the whole uh collection of my brushes so these ones are for blending your um eyeshadow but i hardly ever use them these are from bobby brown um which you kind of like blend your eyeshadow uh, on top of your eyes but i barely ever use this but this is quite all right like usually uh, bobby brown get like really good review about their brushes because they don't really want out that easy and so um yeah that's the one and then I got these from some drug stores in Canada. These are more for like smudging your your smoky eye. If you want to do a smoky eye style, this will be the type of brush that um, you use to do the smudge smoky eye gel kind of um, eyeliner thing. I haven't been washing this this is like so stiff right now it's disgusting and they are all right to like do the eyeliner but I as I have like really oily eyes so I don't really use those like gel type that you you take out from like a little jar thing to do my my eyeline I use like a liquid eyeliner now I have been trying to find a really good one um, for my brushes to get them clean, spray on, and then you put it, put your brush on the tissue and rub it on to the tissue like that, your brush. Then you will see all the dirt from, from the brush will be on the tissue. 
and then right after that you can just directly use the brush again clean this you don't have to like this thing you don't have to wait till the brush to dry off because this is kind of like it dries off automatically after you cleanse it so it like really good highly recommend to buy this one although it's a bit expensive but you don't use a lot of the spray to clean your brushes but it's really important because like you use your brushes every day they get really dirty and it got onto your skin you your face got so much oil on your on your face and you do really need to clean your brushes it's really important this is it for all the brushes that i've been using daily and i hope you guys enjoyed the video and if you have any questions or comments please leave your comments below and if you like the video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe i hope you guys enjoy my video and i hope to see you guys next time peace